What's up, Ithaca High School? Welcome to Lake Street News. I'm Cora Easton. And I'm Hannah Barden. I haven't seen you in a while. How was Christmas? Did you get gifts? Uh, yeah, I got some really cool things. I got a Dragonfly uh, Lego set, and I also got some calligraphy pens. So, How large is this Dragonfly? About yay large. Nice. Have you built it yet? Yes. Nice. Code Red Robotics has been officially kicked off. Last Saturday, Code Red Robotics began its six weeks build season. If you're not already aware, Code Red members work together to build a 120 pound robot. The robot is made to compete against other robots. Code Red will be competing against 3,000 other teams from around the world. If you're interested in joining, you can go to E-Wing any day of the week except Monday from 4.30 to 9. Hi IHS, the Super Smash Brothers Club will be hosting their annual Smash Bros tournament today after school. Come compete in both our Smash 4 and Melee tournaments. A $5 admission will cover admission, food, drinks, and the prizes for the winners. We'll be in H Courtyard starting at 4 o'clock tonight. Now for this week's film review. Thanks, guys. Recently, I went to the theater and watched Martin McDonough's new film, Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri, which stars Frances McDormand as Mildred Hayes, a woman trying to spur the police of the small town of Ebbing, Missouri into solving the case of her daughter's murder. McDormand delivers a terrific and compelling performance as the unstoppable Mildred Hayes, along with, along, alongside Woody Harrelson, the pragmatic and troubled police chief, and Sam Rockwell, who plays his hot-headed and bigoted deputy. Ben Davis' cinematography captures the violent moments of the film with a crystal clear clarity, and the color palette is consistently beautiful. The dialogue is finely balanced between sensibility and humor, but the movie's overall commentary on society seems to be somewhat conflicted and a little bit confused. Overall, the film is a dark reflection of the state of our current culture, especially of the discontent with law enforcement. I rate this film a 9 out of 10. However, In Bruges is still my favorite McDonough film. That's it for this week, IHS. See you next time. You know, today, I, I just happy. woke up. Is it clear I don't and know. I uh, no. Well, yes. I wanted a quill, but then my sister gave me this whole thing set all the way and then I was like, well, I feel like it doesn't have a feather on it, which is the only reason I wanted a quill, because it just seems like...